All right, today we're just gonna look at these Oxford 3x5 index cards. Um, I started getting these because you could get them in large quantities and they were at a good price. The, I, and then I've compared them to the Amazon Basics. And here's the big difference. The Oxford are a little thinner. Um, and so some people really hate that. Um, obviously if it's thinner, let's do the Sharpie test. So if I write just on a normal marker, can we see it through? Yeah, you can see it through a little bit because they're thin. Um, I actually like them thin. Um, I'm <laughs> I'm a checklist kind of guy, and I just love to, to have something that I can fold up and put in my pocket, and so I like having it thin. Now, these are still thick enough um, that they keep a sharp corner. Um, one of the advantages of thin versus thick is they go through a printer better. Um, and so if you're going to actually print onto a 3x5 card, this might be your best option. Um, but it's just your normal uh, 3x5 card. I do like that it's lined on one side and open on the back. Um, that just gives you a lot of options. I like that more than just um, blank on both sides. So I like having the lines. But these have been great. Um, I'm a school teacher. I use a lot of 3x5 cards, and this is my go-to.